Hey guys, this morning I'm going to use the HVAC training simulator that we have in our HVAC technician course to show you what happens to the system pressures and temperatures when there's a dirty filter. Now we already know that there's a dirty filter just to speed up the diagnosis here, but uh, the dispatch page says you have inadequate or no cooling. Customer's not home and left the house open to begin work. So let's first pop in to the indoor unit and let's take a look at that filter just so you can see it is all dirty we'll put it away put the cover back on let's run out to the outdoor unit and see if the system is running I don't see anything going on there let's go ahead to the thermostat and turn it on all right we're going to put the system in cooling and we're set at 60 so we should be running let's go back out to the outdoor unit there okay so you can see we it is running and you can see that it's discharging uh, warm air out of the top but we're not getting good cooling in the home so let's get our gauges out we'll use our testo gauges because it's easier to see move them out of the way a little bit zoom in here on the the discharge and suction lines okay so here's our red hose the high side hose and here's our high side temperature clamp so we'll put those on the discharge line up oh, and it looks like I got them on the wrong one there we go there we go then we'll put those put these low side of the gauge on the suction side we'll cl close up that cover so that we don't get our fingers zapped in there okay so here's what we're looking at we have 351 PSIG on the high side saturation tent of 108 degrees Fahrenheit 97 PSIG on the low side saturation point of 30 degrees Fahrenheit our line temperatures are 43 and 103 respectively so we have 5 degrees of subcooling and 13 degrees of superheat but if you'll notice this 30 degree saturation point on the suction side um, indicates that the coil is going to begin to freeze because it is below freezing we do have 5 degrees of subcooling so we know we have a system that's charged properly so just remember those numbers we have 97 PSIG on the low side, 30, 351 on the high, 30 degree saturation temperature, 108 saturation temperature for the high side, the line set temperature is 43 degrees, on the suction high side is 103 with 13 degrees of superheat and 5 degrees of subcooling. Okay, let's go to the indoor unit. Put our gauge away. Go to the indoor unit. We'll take the cover off. We'll replace the filter. It's going to cost $115 to do that for the customer. And you just got four stars because we did that right. And then we'll put it away. Put the cover back on. Let's go back to the outdoor unit and take a look at what's going on out here now. Unfortunately, you can't leave your gauges on when when you're using the sim, so you got to go back and put them on again. Nope, oh, got that on the wrong one again. There we go. Seems I always want to open up that that door. Okay, so now let's take a look what's going on. If you remember the we had 351 PSIG on the high side. Now we have 391. The reason being that pressure has gone up on the high side is because we are now able to extract more heat from the indoor air now that the new filters in there. So 391 PSIG, it was 351. 115 degree Fahrenheit on the discharge line, it was 108. It's now 102 degrees Fahrenheit on the discharge line. It was 103, and we have now 13 degrees of subcooling, which is a much better subcooling 
number than the five degrees. So now our subcooling is good. And look at what happens to our low side pressure. The low side pressure went from 97 to 118 PSIG and from 30 degrees Fahrenheit to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. That plugged filter really restricts the airflow and restricted airflow lowers the suction temperature and the saturation temperature of the evaporator. And when the evaporator pressures go down, so do the condenser pressures. And you can see that from our, um, if, you've, if you've taken your notes on that. And now we've gone up to 13 degrees or back to 13 degrees subcooling. This is a TXV system, so subcooling is maintained. But now we're at 40 degrees coil temperature and we won't be freezing anymore. So this is one of the simulations that we have in the course. It does tell you that uh, it is an R410A system and if we needed, wanted to charge the system we could do so by kick, uh, clicking the plus sign here and we could remove refrigerant by clicking the minus sign here. So what we'll do in some future videos is we'll hook our gauges up, we'll hook it up to a properly operating system and then we will uh, overcharge it, look at what happens to the system pressures, then we'll undercharge it and look at the system pressures. The first thing you should do when you arrive at a call that has inadequate cooling is check that filter and make sure that the coil and the filter are clean before you throw your gauges on the system. Alright, so we'll see you on the next video.